Every year during the AWS's premier conference reInvent, one of the highlights is the keynote of Dr. Werner Vogels. Dr. Werner Vogels is the CTO of Amazon. He not only talks about a lot of things which are happening in the industry, but his take on the future of the industry for the next one year, his predictions are quite famous. And more often than not, they're pretty accurate too. So every year, I really spend a lot of time in going through his keynote, just slicing and dicing what he says. And this year, because I have started my channel almost a year ago, I wanted to share those key insights which I was able to glean from this keynote which he delivered yesterday and see what we make out of it. As you might expect, everything revolves around generative AI like everything else and Dr. Werner Rogel's keynote was not an exception. Dr. Werner is Netherlands based and his accent is quite um, interesting and very, very, um, how should I put it? Interesting to hear, especially when he cracks the jokes and he is quite witty and his accent makes it even funnier and even more interesting. Now, this Netherlands born and based Vogels does, a, does have an interesting perspective on generative AI. According to him, that generative AI will become culturally aware, meaning that models will gain a better understanding of different cultural traditions. As per Dr. Werner, he says that you start to realize that most of these models or LLMs have been trained on common crawl, which is English, very American centric and Western European centric. And all in all, 98% of all of this generative AI is revolving around English language. But again, it is not just about language. All the cultural things which comes out of mainly from US is what the generative AI models are doing. And it is not really a fault of models as per Werner and rightly so. It is more about the data that these models have been trained on. Yes, we are now observing that more and more models are being trained on languages like Chinese and I have done various vid videos on my channel too around those models such as Quen. But still, then if you compare the number of models which have been trained in English to the number of models which are trained on any other language or even the models which are bilingual, English models are, be they beat the non-English model by a huge margin. He also noted in his keynote that if companies want to deploy these Gen AI tools across the world, they have to start thinking about how to make their models more culturally aware. So that's a buzzword he kept using in his keynote. He said that if we don't solve it, it will be a massive hindrance for deploying this technology worldwide and the adoption won't be as swift as people think that it would be. Now, AWS event is primarily a developer event. So Werner also touched upon what this new world of AI LLMs means for developers. Werner believes that generative AI will greatly enhance developer productivity. And he says that the tools that were available a couple of years ago were useful for a certain kind of developer. But today code completion and generation services they are of different quality and of different league. In his own words, he says that he thinks that the tool at the moment were at the level that really supported the sort of copy and paste developer. That person would normally go to Stack Overflow or similar site, post the question, wait for a hundred upvotes and then think that must be the right answer. Now that has changed a lot. I think these new, according to him, Werner, that the tools now can have a broader view of things. Vogels also strongly believes that generative AI will free developers from a lot of busy work of writing tests, refactoring code and writing boilerplate. And he says that yes, he acknowledges that some technologists are worried that using these tools will actually hinder junior developers from honing their craft. But he thinks that developers are not going to lose their job. And he says that they would just be a better developer, but they need to adapt. 
He also noted in his keynote that ever-increasing pace of technological development means that it is now more important than ever for colleges and universities not just to teach students raw skill, but they also need to teach students how to learn, how to adapt, because there is an extreme value in what universities teach you. They teach you how to learn, and they teach you how to look at the bigger picture. They teach you how to analyze. They teach all these brain things that you will need on the job. Jobs will not be the same. You would have to adapt fairly quickly. You have to change very quickly. Now, Vogel's predictions not just were confined to AI in this keynote. He also believed that, um, such as women health, which was quite surprising that he would touch upon that topic, given it was a total um, sidetrack from, from what he was talking on Gen AI. Anyway, he said that women's health tech will finally take off in part because there is less of a stigma now around talking about women's health care. And according to him, it's a societal change. And that stigma is changing. Men are talking about menopause these days because their wives or friends or girlfriends or daughters are going through it and they see it. If you go back 20 years, women among themselves wouldn't even talk about it, but that has changed a lot. Now, Vogels also touched upon some other stuff too, but all in all, I got the idea that Vogels is an optimist when it comes to tech and its potential to do good. Because he said that he has solved so many problems in his life and it was all due to the advancement in the technology and he sees a generative AI in the same way, which is quite heartening and refreshing to hear among all this doom and gloom which people are predicting. But he did make a point that one issue the technology industry faces at the moment is that it moves at such a rapid pace right now, it's hard for people to catch up. And that is true. I mean, look at the number of uh, videos I'm doing on all the technologies which are coming up. And I can assure you, I'm not even scratching the surface. There is so much to cover, so much to learn. It is really overwhelming. This is the challenge we have, that our technology adoption cycles have become so compressed that it is hard to educate people upfront before technology gets released. So. I think that if you release consumer technology out in the open without any education, people are going to get confused. And that is exactly the case with artificial intelligence at the moment. And we are getting knee-jerk reactions. So we really need to fix this. And I totally agree with Werner Vogel on this one. Now, he also finds one good thing out of this quick cycle. He says, and I will quote, the good thing is I don't need to talk to my customers about blockchain anymore. So that was, you know, he cracked on it and uh, it was quite funny, I must say. Anyway, so this is the insight which I garnered from Werner Vogel's um, keynote. And I think Amazon's CTO is spot on on a lot of things. But one thing I believe lacking from his keynote was acknowledgement that AWS or Amazon is struggling to catch up with other companies when it comes to generative AI. And though they have released Amazon Bedrock and stuff, still, if you look at GCP, Azure, Meta, a lot of other companies, they have gone a long, long way and AWS still playing up, uh, catch up to them. Uh, I didn't hear anything about it. Also, um, still, I think I w was hoping to get more concrete services and whole Gen AI um, sort of strategy or framework from Werner as how he wants to proceed with Gen AI in the next one uh, next one year because he always likes to predict about next one year. So I was hoping that he wouldn't just talk about generative AI in general, but also in perspective of what AWS or Amazon is going to do about it. But anyway, um, fun keynote as always. And I think that uh, it's always good to hear about Werner. Now, I would really encourage no. you to avoid this uh, Werner Vogel on it's available on YouTube. Please welcome on the, the Vice President AWS and CTO of Amazon.com, anyway, Dr. Werner Vogels.
ว่า